welcome to today's vlog. I'm actually just on my bed right now. We got new sheets and I'm so excited. I actually love the colors. Um, as you can see on the wall, there's some malfunctions because I took off the shelves. They were just like really awkward. Like if you can picture it, this is where the shelf was. So that's where my pillow and my head are. And like, well, his was like way over here, but it was so awkward and like I would always hit my head off of it and it was just really, really bad placement from the old owners. So anywho, rip those off. Um, we're gonna paint the room like a dark color, like to kind of go with the bedding. And then we're gonna change the curtains and that'll be really nice because right now it's just like really ugly. So exciting, but holy, it is so hot out. I just changed into a dress because it was like, it was a little too frisky uh, outside. And when I was outside, I realized that my tomato plants are like falling over. It had like the plastic casing that it came in uh, to hold them up and now they're like massive, so it's just not enough. So I am going to run to Canadian Tire right now, get something to hold them up, and then I'm gonna continue what I was working on downstairs, which is date squares. Even Bane thinks it's too hot. He's literally laying over the vent right now that's <laughs> blowing the air conditioning. So he's just having a time. Looks like he's dying, but he's okay. This looks really gross, but I currently have date soaking in hot, hot water. Uh, and then I'm gonna make some date squares later tonight so that I can put them in the freezer. So it kind of looks like weird, but they're, they're just becoming soft so I can mash them up. So that'll be really good. I talk a lot about this on my Instagram, but I've given up sugar since, what was it, June 28th, I believe. So it's been like a while. Uh, and the more like I post about it, the more messages I get. And they're like, how do you do it? Like, this must be so difficult. But honestly, if you prepare, it's really not that bad. Like, say for example this, like I'm, don't mind my dishes, I just did them this morning. So they're air drying. But yeah, once I do all this, I'm gonna like make the day squares, put them in the freezer, then I have those, ooh. These are so good. They're Russell Stover, they're sugar-free, they're amazing. Another thing are these crispy apple chips, so freaking good, no added sugar, and I really like them, and you can get them at health food stores. I actually bought this one at Winners, though, uh, so as long as you like have other things to replace sugar with, it's really, really not that bad. As you can see, my garden is an absolute mess, but this is the tomato plant, it's just falling over. You can't even tell what it is, because it's just like everywhere, so I'm gonna go get those things right now. Does anyone else have like two purses where they go back and forth and they just switch things depending on what mood they're in? If they're like, I don't know, chill versus like fancy because that's totally me. I have this little like Dickies sack. I love it. And then this fancy one and I just put all my items in there. Cool. I got my mask. I just have to make sure. Perfect. I got this pink one my mom made. Right now we actually have to wear masks. Um, I think as of Monday or something, but most stores right now have it listed on there that you have to have it in order to walk in. So I just keep them anyways because I wouldn't want to be in the situation where I needed something at like a gas station or something like that and I just didn't have one. So I just bring it, I wear it anyways, and then I'm good. currently trying to find something that's going to uphold my plants, but I don't know if the best option is just like those metal things. So I think I might have to do that. So I'm just going to grab it because there's really not a lot here or left at least. The plants took me longer to do just because they were too like overgrown already. So like I had to like try not to break the leaves and then put it in. It was just a mess. Um, the one went a lot easier than the other one did, so that was good, but I just hope I didn't lose like too many tomatoes doing this process. But you live and you learn. Now I know next time to buy like the metal ones and not keep the plastic ones because the plastic ones do not do anything because the things are so heavy. I'm like honestly shocked, but I can't wait for tomatoes. I want to do like a little garden update, so I'll show you. It was far too hot to do a garden tour, so that will be postponed. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna have something to eat and then I'm gonna make my date squares. I end up always looking up my recipes on my YouTube channel, just cause like the recipes that I post are legitimate ones that I really like. So this one is diet approved date squares. Um, so I might just eat something and then do this cause it's like I'm already hungry so I don't wanna be baking while I'm hungry. Cause that never ends well for me. <laughs> So Kyle doesn't actually like date squares, so I only made half of a pan just for me because I didn't want like a whole pan of date squares because I'd probably be over them at that point. So I just did a half a pan and that's the reasoning. So I'm gonna put it in the oven and then I can't freaking wait for these because they're gonna be so delicious. 
I'm someone that has to, like literally has to clean up before the stuff is ready. So if I make like muffins or anything like that, I always try to do the dishes before they're ready so that when they come out, it's like, it smells nice and it's all clean. Cause nothing's worse than when you're just already tired from baking and then the house is just a disaster. Honestly, I probably got it from my mom who scarred me for life cause she just like bakes and bakes and then the house is like upside down and backwards. And like that scarred me as a child. So now I'm like polar opposite to that. So thanks mom. So I just changed really quick cause I'm gonna be outside. Bane's little puppy girlfriend is on her way. I absolutely love seeing them play. He plays so gentle and then when he plays with boy puppies, he's all like pawing them and just like so intense. But with her, she's like on the floor and just it's so cute. So anywho, I'm gonna take out the date squares right now cause they smell delicious. Um, and then she'll be here any minute and then I'll show a little footage of that cause they're so freaking adorable. She has such high energy and Bane is like, not a high energy dog at all. What's that? Oh, no. oh my god, wait. No, come on. Oh god. Wait, come here. Outside. 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 Go play. Go play. Oh my god. I'm so happy I got that on film. Hi. Oh, hello. She's so hyper. She's so excited. I think Hi. she knew we were filming. Go away. I'm taking an after video of the calm dogs. Oh, she's drinking out of the toilet. Finley, at least you're calm. You might be drinking. Yeah, so much better. Now they're just chilling. Take number two of trying to explain my salad before the dogs bark. So I made two salads, but they have spring mix, some avocado, some pickles, hemp seeds, uh, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, lots of like healthy fats, hard boiled egg, and just various items on here with some uh, seasoning on top. And then we're gonna make the salad dressing. And that's gonna be like my pre-dinner pre snack. Cause I'm kind of getting hungry. So Kyle got home from work and we were gonna have like a special date night and go for Chinese food and like be along the lake here. Not this lake, but another one and uh, like another spot. But they ran out of chicken. So like everything we wanted had chicken in it. So that didn't work. So instead, we got Subway and we're actually in like, uh, well, Deep River, but obviously most of you guys don't know that's watching this, but it's Ottawa River. So it's so pretty, like gorgeous. So we're just gonna like eat here and have a good time, a little date night in the sunshine. So I'm like really excited. So like, here it is. Guys, I had such a good day today. It was just so fantastic. I loved hanging out with Paige. We just hung out. We watched the dogs play. We ate salad together. It was like, I just love having somebody that's like also health conscious and we do a lot of workouts together and kayak and it's just really fun. And then I really enjoyed like going out for dinner with Kyle. And even though it was just Subway, it was just relaxed by the water. Those are like my favorite kinds of nights. I would prefer that versus like going out for dinner or something like that at like a fancy restaurant. Cause it's just like not my style. But anyways, I wanted to wrap up this vlog. Uh, Kyle's really tired from work because he had a busy day and I'm also kind of exhausted from the day and the sunshine. So I am going to wrap this up, have a relaxing night, watch some Hell's Kitchen, probably eat the other half of my sub. Bless, I love when I save half. So anyways, I'm going slowly more down in my uh, zero gravity chair, which is the best. So I'm gonna chill here for a bit and I will see you in my next vlog.